Okay, so this is Nicole from Organic Nordaz, and this is part three of Sister Lock Drama. And the reason why I say Sister Lock Drama, I love this technique, guys. But I'm going to tell you this much. Sometimes people need to just cut that mess out. And I know you guys going to hear me say mayhem and foolishness more than one time. Cut that mayhem and foolishness. I'm getting myself prepared to go to bed right now. Mm-hmm. And, um... I'm using the pipe cleaners in my hair, you know, to show off my Nordalock system when I go to the refresher course in the morning. I'm here in the Richmond, Virginia area. I'm going to leave from Richmond, Virginia and go to Raleigh, North Carolina where I'm going to be a part of the soap convention to become a master certified soap and product maker. Yay! <laughs> okay, I need to stop doing that, right? I was stalling myself. I'm tired, guys. I've traveled all the way down here, and then my stomach don't even want to take food. Ate some shrimp, and my body just don't like me at all. I'll tell you this much. It better get together. I got to be busy, okay? I don't have time to be worrying about no damn stomach virus, y'all. I got time to go to bed, get up. Go to this daggone refresher course and then hit Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm going to be out of town for eight damn days. Shh. Okay. So, like I said before, Lord. So, I got these pipe cleaners and my hair is dry. So, you don't have to do this procedure at all. With your sister locks, with your micro locks, with your dreadlocks, with your nappy locks, with your braided locks, with your naughty locks. It doesn't matter. Just do it. You know, sister locks is a micro lock technique. But um, it's under the umbrella of sister locks. Um, even though you might hear me talk about the drama of sister locks. Where clients is concerned, um, and by the way, I didn't finish talking about that client, right? So she, um, I like to, in, I like to just cut and talk. So she basically came to the shop, the client that came for my eight o'clock appointment. I text messaged her at three o'clock to let her know. I'm running behind schedule because the client in the chair in front of her is taking at least another hour. So she came to the shop and it looked like she was upset. She was like, I didn't get your message. Well, um, check your message. That's that's the whole purpose. I did let you know. Now you know if you if I'm already compromising with you over my time and you know, basically, um, and I do apologize and I send you a text message read your text you was at work that's the reason why I send you a text instead of calling you at work read your text so she sat there and she sat there and you know and I was telling her about the convention that I'm going to and how I'm gonna take off Wednesday off the book cuz I need days off to spend with friends and family I'm always busy working you know I got a product line and I gotta also pay attention to that now, I don't know if it was, you know, she she made candles and everything, so I don't know what her problem was. She got up and she was like, you know, she went to the hallway. And I said, don't go f too far. And when she came back in, I was only less than three minutes to finish this lady here. The lady that was in the chair. She said, um, I need to reschedule. Um, I said, well, I'm about to finish. She said, well, I got somewhere to go to at eight o'clock and I need to reschedule now for those who do sister locks when you you know you got a lot of hair your retighten gonna take at least three hours so if you make an appointment for four o'clock and it's not five o'clock and I told you I'm running one hour behind which is five o'clock why would you make an appointment or would you schedule something for five for eight o'clock I'm already convenient giving you time after five o'clock which is my closing time and I don't do anything after that and then if I'm sacrificing to do your service at five o'clock and you have somewhere to go at eight o'clock that's disrespectful 
So when she tell me, oh, well, you know, let me reschedule. I was like, fine. I finished that lady here. As soon as she walked out the door and we walk out the door right behind her. Thank you, Jesus. I had me a nice day to go home and sleep, honey. Because this sister don't get enough sleep anyway. So I didn't have time for all that mayhem and foolishness anyway. So you know what? I went home, got myself a cup of tea and went to bed. I already know she was not coming back to my shop. And if she did call to reschedule, I would have tell her after 5 o'clock is not available. So she either come at the time that I have available or find herself another sister lock consultant. Yeah, I would have said that to her. But, so, you know, the more sister lock I have to install is the more drama I'm having with those who think I'm supposed to cater to them. And I'm not catering to no one. I got a job. You got your hair. I love my job. I love my clients. I love y'all to death. But some of y'all just don't know. Y'all got some personalities that is off the chain. Especially the older ladies. The older ladies have personalities off the chain. But I love my job. I love when I finish doing this and it's just awesome. So I got rid of her too. You know, she sent me a text message. That's how that's how they do do you after you sacrifice in this business for a lot of these people. She sent me a text message stating that um she found her she didn't know her next door neighbor. Which you knew your next door neighbor did sister locks. But you knew I did a damn good job at what I do. Okay? It's simple. Didn't know her next door neighbor was a certified sister lock consultant. And she's going to give her a try. So, um, when she says she's going to give her a try, she's implying that. But she thought she was going to insult me by saying what she said and she know exactly but you know what I humble myself and I don't even care if you see this video I'm still a good person I know you you a good person but guess what you was always fake when you come to my shop so you know I like when real people come to my place of business I don't like when fake people come to my place of business she never let me wash her hair anyway she always do her hair with the sister lock product at home that's like disrespecting what I have going on at my shop. And I'm a cosmetologist, so that's even double disrespecting what I do. You wash your own hair. The only thing I'm doing is retighten, so I don't like customers like that. I want to be able to wash your hair and take care of your hair. That's my job. Wash your hair and take care of your hair. Honey child, that's what I'm in this business for. I'm not just a consultant. I'm a cosmetologist. Sister Locke is not a licensed by the State Board of Cosmetologists, honey. And that's the difference between trade and real license. Okay? Mm-hmm. Let me drink my tea before I get a little bit upset on these people. Because y'all don't know. These people is corrupt. Um. So I did get rid of that lady. And I got rid of her too. So I had another lady that took three months before she come back to me and she got a lot of hair. And I told her, I'm not staying up in here all, all night to do your hair. And she was like, well, I need to get all my hair done. Um, you come here at 4 o'clock and I'm trying to help you out. And you think I'm going to be up in here until 12 o'clock tonight. I got to get home. I got a man in my bed, in my house. That's waiting for me to come home at a certain time of night. And you know what? If you're trying to keep a relationship or develop a relationship, you need to let your people know when you own business that we got to have a time in here where we got to be consistent. Because you know what? I spoil them. And they think that I don't have a life. So they try to think they can run me over. No. I got to be home at a certain time. If I don't, if I do this continuously, if you trying to develop a relationship or any type of communication with someone and you go home 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock every night, they're going to be so pissed off because that's not communication. Yes, 
need to get home a little bit earlier. Now, if you have a 9 to 5 job, I can understand that. You know, but that 9 to 5 job is either 9 to 5 or 5 to 10. So get get it together. When you own a business, it's a little bit different. You know, so that, and I was sick this week. So when she came and I told her I can only do two two hours of your retighten today. And we're going to have to change it to another time. And um, she was like, well, hold on for a second. Let me think about not getting my hair done. We're going to have to do this another day then. I said, no, we're not going to do this another day. We're going to do the two hours because you say you have to go somewhere tomorrow. And that was a lie. So I sacrificed my health to let her come in just for two hours. Her retighten for this lady also was around three inches. And she came in at five o'clock or six o'clock or some crap like that. Wanting me to do the whole entire hair. That is going to be a no-no from today forward with these people that got sister lock. That's too much drama to go through. You go home 12 o'clock at night. And then you, you, you see how your kids and how your, uh, your family and everybody is going to tell you that right there is not cool. So she was mad at me. I told her, you have an option. Either let me do the two hours today and then come back tomorrow or another day. Because I am sick, honey. I need to go home and get some rest. That's what she didn't understand with this whole thing. And you know what? She was going to be an ex-Sister Lock client if she didn't step up and said, okay. Because I was about to give her the boot. You're not concerned about your beautician health? Do you know that we pay for independent insurance? Huh. And my friend, he gets on my nerves by telling me, you need to control that shit better. I love him to death. Y'all just don't know. I, I learned a lot from a man. A real man. He's a real man. You have some men that stay around women and they can't even tell the woman how they feel about them. I had a brother that stayed around me for five years. And couldn't tell me how he feel about me. But this Christian woman, he was married still at the time, y'all. So this Christian woman was not going to allow this brother to get the best of her if you can't tell me how you feel skedaddle five years people thought he was dealing with me and I'm looking at everybody like honey child this man is not my man but he was cock blocking he will bring his picture Christmas come Thanksgiving picture of him and his son and I cuz I love the brother to death and this is someone from my past so never go backwards always go forward ladies because these brothers, then, which sometimes when you go backwards, men get intimidated by the woman that is now that they used to deal with in the past. They really do. So he will come and I will take the picture up because I wasn't dealing with no man. Seven and a half years celibate rings a bell to you guys. I enjoyed every minute of it. Honey child. All of a sudden, guess what? He's engaged. After not being around me for a year, after we don't communicate for a year, you're engaged. Double, double, now you can move the hell on. That's how I see it. And then the worst thing I hate, I'm just going to cut this video because you know what, I'm getting a little bit too much of it. So um, I'm going to be at the convention. You guys will see my hair in the morning. And then let me know.